Greetings, friends, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. I'm Fop, and we have just opened up the Zelnaga Temple inside the Something Something Rift, and shit got real. Uh, Vorazun had something to say to us, but I was testing out my new sound setup. Let me know how the sound balance is. I've tried to up the game volume. Uh, were here, got a little bit of advice on how to tweak against my recording. They could end the war. My people could be free once again. Then why Wouldn't it be awesome Zelnaga to be free? Us? I am going into the Ulnar Temple alone, Matriarch. I do not intend to risk any more lives. Always a dumb choice. You risk your own life on the word of a no one ever lets you go in alone. He killed your mother, Vorazun. That is true. But he was never a traitor. I do not wish for death, only to see Zeratul's visions fulfilled. You will return. That much, I believe. I like her skull thing on the side there. That is pretty awesome. So let's take a peek here before we listen to any more... Abdulin Tore Das, Hyrock. Morazun, I know not what I shall find below, but I know I must go alone. You are in command of the Spear of Adun now. Until you return, Artanis. Alright, so we're going in. Mission reward is 20 Solarite. Bonus rewards, 15 Solarite. Deal 7,500 damage with Artanis' Lightning Dash ability. Kill 20 units with spawned Banelings in this mission. Oh, looks like Kerrigan's going to be up in our business in a good way. Unknown energy signature detected. All right, let's back out. War Council. My warriors cannot aid me in the battle ahead. This burden is mine to bear. What does Rohana have to, to say? Find the Zelnaga. Dare we dream of it? This is kind of like approaching God. The Starfighters have arrived, and they await your evaluation. All right, let's evaluate some while we're here. What? Double Graviton Beam? Jeez. This is... That's so good. What could this possibly... Oh. Oh, I remember you. Jeez. Okay, I see. Well, this is definitely an anti-ground... This is a much more effective anti-air. And of course, the disruption web works wonders with um, other things. It also says it just prevents enemies. It says all enemy units. It might even restrict air. It doesn't specifically say ground. But the double graviton beam is just pure disabling nastiness. Uh, not so good with zealots. Whereas I assume the disruption web works great with zealots. We'll stick with the Corsairs for the next one, because we just used the Phoenixes. Is there an assignment I haven't made yet? These purifiers have joined our army, Hierarch. It seems they are willing to serve you. For now. A stalker adept. Where shall we march? What is this? What? So, okay, so instead of stalkers, dragoons, we have adepts. Psionic transfer. Projects an invulnerable shade that can move but cannot attack. Enemies that touch the shade take five extra damage from all sources for five seconds. That's a lot of damage. Teleports to the shade location 10 seconds after activation. Can be canceled. Well, we're going to have to try these guys out. They seem... I'm very... I'm, I'm kind of confused. Interesting. Very interesting units. Um, we will have to try them out sometime. Perhaps not today. Solar Core, talk to me. K. 
Carrick. Since we arrived here, the Keystone has reacted strangely. It's as if it is attuned to the energies below. Energies below? Yes. Void energies exude from this place. I believe this world is a conduit between dimensions. It's not a world, it's like a station, I'm pretty sure. Acts as if siphoning I'm a little sick, so if my voice is, is off, don't blame the sound the quality so much. Information was stored, as but, the uh, was I'm doing what I can. For a second purpose. Let us hope that the Zelnaga themselves can reveal the truths you're looking for. Alright. Let's see what they have to say about that. Okay, I like to reset. So, none of these abilities are going to be able to help us. Um, just in case. I bet starting supply might be worth something. And we'll just assign all of our... Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll just set that up, because you never know. You never know. And let us begin. Artanis, obviously going to be an awesome hero uh, with the Dark Templar Blade that Zeratul wielded, plus his own Templar goodness. Okay, we're supposed to deal 7,500 damage with his dash attack and spawn a ton of banelings. So we just got to remember to use all of our abilities all the time. Yes. This looks awfully familiar to the cutscene where Zeratul and Kerrigan clashed. Sometimes I feel like the Dark Templar blades look really dumb, and other times they're freaking awesome. I just never know. Shakuras. Queen of Blades. Whoa, spiky tentacle thing. Kerrigan. So good to see you. Kerrigan. Artanis, wait. I am not your enemy. I have come seeking the Zelnog. Kerrigan is awesome. Come on, Artanis. You know this isn't how we want it to be. Oh, shit. It's a good thing she is inhumanly tough. Artanis. Seriously? Not bad. I'm just drawn this way. All right, so Kerrigan and Artanis, obviously the best idea ever for me. The shrines call this place the Temple of Unification. The Zelnaga are somewhere within. By the end of the mission, 
I've been fighting them for days. Progress has been We're going to end up with Z Kerrigan and Artanis morphing into an Archon. A hybrid Archon, of course. Working together to seek out the holes of revelation within the temple. Only with both present will the shrines reveal the means to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. I've never cared much for prophecy. And yet, despite our history, here we stand, together. Perhaps you should start. Alright, let's take a second to familiarize ourselves. Kerrigan has 800 life. Let us make for the shrine. Three armor, six range energy blast. Spawn banelings. Chain reaction. That seems to be a passive. Wow, kinetic blast has a huge range. Spawn banelings just seems to spawn banelings. We got Lightning Dash. Okay, that's how that works. They don't seem to have energy. He's got a lot of shield, 200 life. Obviously, Kerrigan will regenerate. She runs off of energy. Resurgence. Okay. Artanis can just suicide once every 60 seconds and be restored to full awesome. Uh, and he has a 15 second uber heal. Wow. We're going to be using tab to switch back and forth. We're going to want to explore. They seem to mosey at about the same pace. It seems the temple has guardians. I will deal with them. Halt! Do you sense that? A great power. Okay, we've got banelings. In this construct. Okay, we're using our dash as much as possible. True, we mended some stuff. I'm trying to use the dash and the banelings as much as possible. So the constructs hold the keys. Good to know. Let us proceed. These devices emit solar energy. We should gather them. Our knowledge is your heritage. Solarite. All right. We got the dad voice on the phone up here at the intercom. Remember that the mainling cooldown will apparently is shorter than there. Hybrid. Yeah, banelings. Two waves of banelings. Another construct. We'll have to destroy it to open the doorway. Tannis has us on life support here. There is a powerful energy. The construct is coming for you. Nice. 
Anything to explore over there? Talk to me out, Janice. He's got the dash. He's got the power. All right, we used her blasty ability because that's awesome. Stage two. Fate is with us. The shrine still functions. Kerrigan, you got this. Not quite. It appears Amon's forces have found a way into the temple. We must slay them all. I think I'm starting to like you, Artanis. Yeah, nuke it. Like a boss. Yeah, we rocked that. I see now. The Zelnaga were the first, born within the void. Their sacred purpose was to cultivate life. And perpetuate the infinite cycle. They are pretty creepy looking. Universe Just saying. Creation, they take a physical form. If destroyed, they are thrust back into the void. All of this time, they have waited for us to assemble the keystone and find our way here. So what the hell did Amon do that they didn't? In dwells? Is that a that, is that a word? If he was separated from the temple, he could be forced back into the void. Oh, okay. Come on, Artanis. We've still got a long way to go. Good, good. I'm really enjoying this mission. Nothing back here. Let's go. It won't be long until our enemy pushes further into the temple. Yep. It seems you were correct. Well then, shall we? guys are so boss. Oh, I thought it was Solar right there for a second. Let's get our Tannis out here in front. We should engage them while they are fighting the constructs. Artanis, what is that? He's got some sort of range doohickey. Awesome. Did we unlock this door down here, or is that just like a Fig Newton? Oh, I see. It's actually blocked.
Wow, these two heroes are just an awesome team. What fools you are to attack me! Ah, that one got away. Uh, I think that's just a doohickey. This passage has caved in as well. Wait. Hybrid. Give me the goodness. Our heritage okay. is your future. Two of the solar righties. They're fighting another concept. Yeah, buddy, did we rock that? Easy peasy. I, I actually would love to play this on Brutal. When we start up the uh, official Bleak House channels, I am definitely going to do a Brutal playthrough, maybe of the whole series. I know Lethe is planning to do a playthrough. Okay. Ready your blades, Templar. Crushing it. Breather. You're up, Artanis. Yes, I love it. The shrines look like they're covered with pictograms. How do you know what they say? Communing with the shrine is more than reading carvings. Each atom of the stone has been placed with meaning, purpose. That is a lot of atoms. I'm just going to point out. Every time, they observe and identify the potential of their offspring, never interfering. The infinite cycle will always be the same. Two races are destined to emerge. One, pure of essence, an indomitable spirit capable of great change. And one, pure of form, a being capable of vast psionic potential. Able to house the essence of a Zelmaga. And we're just going to throw humans into the mix too, I guess. Because we're humans. Purity of essence and form. The Zerg and the Protoss. But if the Zelmaga do not interfere... Alright, I think I'm going to finish this mission in one episode, whether I run overtime or not, because... All we thought was the Zelmaga was a lie. Come on, Artanis. We're not far from having some answers. Ooh. Boy, that's a pretty good twist. I believe this must be the final hall. Wait. The doors are open. The constructs destroyed. The shrine is under attack. This can only be the work of the We delay no longer. Our salvation will not be stolen from us. 
Okay, well. Stop with the delaying. Let's get to that shrine. Okay. How are we doing? The dark god has foreseen your death. We shall deliver you to it. Oh, we missed. Again, get your ass through here. We'll heal you up. Keep going. These people are maniacs. Yeah, they are a little crazy. Kill it. Okay. Doing fine. Doing fine. guys. Zap over here. Banelings aren't up yet. Keep going. Find the goodies. Our future is as one in the void. Okay. Ready to rock and roll. Zeratul, you've got this. With the heals. Kerrigan with the zap. It's done. Do your shrine thing, Artanis. These gods of yours have a lot to answer for. So true. Alright guys, that felt pretty efficient. Our hero control was quite good. Um, Use tab to swap back and forth between their different ability sets. Felt like my targeting was on point. They have nice AoE abilities. Civilizations grew, fell, and formed again. They will awaken when the two destined races arrive. Then, the elders among them will give their lives to bestow their essence. And pure of form and pure of essence will be reborn as Zelnaga, shepherds of the infinite cycle. They better not take away my characters and give me some stupid god, because I really like Kerrigan better. So, what do you say? Alright, I'm stoked. We're definitely pushing our time limit here, but it looks like we're about done. Something's not right here.
not so easily broken, Amon. The firstborn shall fear you no longer! Oh shit, guys. Oh shit. Did we do it? Well, we got all the solarite. I I swear I used that ability about as much as I possibly could. Maybe I overused the banelings and it took away his. It's probably just normal difficulty doesn't give you enough targets. Um, all right, well, whatever. Uh, that was an excellent cutscene. I'm going to guess what we learned was that there is definitely some sort of Amon God unit that we're going to have to deal with at some point. Uh, and all the Zilnaga died, and I'm pretty sure they hinted rather not subtly that the Protoss were technically uplifted by Amon to further his goals. Uh, and it looks like a uh, new faction specialization available, the Tal Darim. Interesting. Um, it does seem to track. Medivax destroyed. I think only one or two got away from us. Uh... Yeah, so that's it for this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And uh, until next time, do as I say, not as I do.